Hey guys, I'm Lauren Rosado with Comp Performance Group and today we're going back to school with our newest episode of Driveline University. Today we have Will Vance from TCI who's going to teach us how to measure a drive shaft and install U-joints. When measuring drive shaft length, take the slip yoke that the drive shaft will be assembled to. Insert it all the way into the tail housing of the transmission. Then you'll want to pull it out three quarters to one inch. Now carefully measure the distance between the centers of the front and rear U-joints. Round this measurement to the nearest quarter inch increment, and then you have the length for your new Quartermaster drive shaft. To install U-joints, block up the drive shaft and make sure the bores are clear of burrs or grooves that could catch the edge of the cap while you're installing it. They should be free from cracks or nicks that could lead to potential failure points. Look over the welds as well. Using a solid piece of metal stock that is slightly smaller than the outer diameter of the cap being installed, place on a solid work surface. Install the cross joint, paying attention to the location of the grease zerk. You want it pointing outward. Then with a the hammer, slightly strike squarely on the weld to start the cap into the bore. Strike the yoke until the cross joint is above center. Now you can raise the cross joint and the yoke to place the next cap on. This will keep the needle bearings in place. Once you install the retaining clip, flip the drive shaft over and repeat. Since the cap is never upside down, you don't have to worry about needle bearings falling out and you have both hands free to work. Both TCI and Quartermaster carry a full line of performance driveline components, so finding what you need should be no trouble. There you have it. We have learned how to measure the drive shaft and install U-joints thanks to Will Vance. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to call TCI or Quartermaster Monday through Friday. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a couple of comments, and stay tuned for more upcoming Driveline University episodes.